strong is the magnetic field at the Large Hadron Collider? Let's answer this by looking at a question from the International Physics Olympiad. Derive an expression for the uniform magnetic flux density necessary to keep the proton beam on a circular track. You may use suitable approximation. First of all, the classical solution predicts a magnetic field of 0.09 Tesla. This is wrong. The protons in the Large Hadron Collider are orbiting very close to the speed of light, so we need to use Einstein's special theory of relativity. We're no longer just going to write mv squared over r for the centripetal force, but we're going to write gamma mv squared over r, where gamma is the relativistic factor. We're going to set this equal to the force that is acting on the protons, which is QVB. However, the charge of a proton is the same as that of the electron, but opposite, so we can write this as EV times b. In the classical solution, to get this for the speed, we have used the kinetic energy equation a half mv squared, but in our relativistic case we cannot use that equation and we need to use the fact that the kinetic energy is going to equal to gamma minus 1 mc squared. Now let me show you a trick. Consider this equation, so e will then be equal to gamma mc squared take away mc squared. But if our proton is moving really close to the speed of light, the product of the mass of the proton times the speed of light squared will actually be just negligible. So in our approximation, we can simply neglect this. And we can rearrange this for gamma to get that the gamma factor is going to equal to e divided by mc squared. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this expression and then plug this into this formula here and what we're going to get is e over mc squared multiplied by mv squared divided by r is equal to evb. And now we can do some cancellations. So first of all the mass is going to go, additionally this factor of v will go and what we're left with is that e over c squared times v divided by r is equal to e times b. Because in this question we're looking for a suitable approximation, as the protons are moving along the Large Hadron Collider, the speed is almost equal to the speed of light. So we can assume that v is approximately equal to c, which will allow us to simplify this expression further, and we can simply replace v with a factor of C. Those, of course, will cancel out because we're not given the radius but the actual circumference of the ring. What I'm going to do is express this in terms of the circumference. So let, let so L will be equal to 2 pi r and then the radius r will just be equal to the circumference divided by 2 pi. We can rearrange for b and what we're going to get is e then we divided by c and then rather than r I'm going to write l over 2 pi which is going to give me l here and then a factor of 2 pi. And now we're ready to plug in some numbers to actually calculate the magnetic flux density so we're going to have 2 pi and then an energy of 7 tera electron volts so that's going to be 7.0 multiplied by tera is 10 to the 12 to convert electron volts to joules, this will be multiplied by the elementary charge. So 1.6 times 10 to the power minus 19. Divide that by the speed of light, which is around 3.0 times 10 to the power of 8. We're also given the length in the question, which is 26659. And if we put this into a calculator, we're going to get 5.5. Tesla. And just look at the difference between the classical result and the relativistic result. If you have enjoyed this physics Olympiad problem, you're really going to enjoy this physics derivation right over here, so click right over here.